Hey folks, I have my sister's little dog with me today. And we're going to talk a few things. This is Uncle Alan's chat on Friday. And I have to tell people, because I've been watching these wannabe prepper channels, they have no idea what the hell they're doing. There you go. And they're driving me crazy. Now, first thing is sterno. Okay. And sometimes I'm going to spill it because I'm going to tired. See that? Okay. If you have the proper sterno stove, this is my old one from 40 years ago. Okay. Yeah, let's see, right here. Okay, can you read that? All right, sterno is approved for indoor use. If it's not sterno, don't trust it. Okay, lens in hand and buffets and picnic tables keep food warmer. Okay. Great for lighting by barbecues and campfire. Is portable and non-toxic. All right. A lot of you guys are going to Dollar General, Dollar Tree, discount stores and picking up the wrong kind of fuel. Not all camp fuels are non-toxic and portable. This is non-toxic. It says so on their branding. Okay, now, a lot of people confuse chafing dishes, see that? They use two types of canned fuel. I don't have the other one. Uh, this one is this one right here, which is a chafing gel. This is also non-toxic. They have another one that has a screw on top. That one is toxic. The screw on one top, toxic. Non-toxic is open like this. See that? You have to pop it open. The toxic one is screw-on. That's a combination of certain chemicals and paraffin wax that the Chinese like to call uh, cooking gel or camping gel. Toxic as hell. Do not use those indoors. Okay? Mississippi Girl Life. She bought a whole bunch of the toxic ones. If you cannot tell the difference between eco fuel, okay, eco fuel, eco, E C O fuel, non toxic, plant based, safe. Sterno, used for chafing dishes, non toxic, and portable. All right. It's approved by everybody for emergency use. If you get an off-brand discount fuel source with a screw top, basically you're buying a bunch of toxic chemicals in a can. It'll have a screw top. Not the safety of an eco-fuel. Eco-fuel is always invented and pressed in. If it doesn't have that, it's not a safe fuel. Okay, I have to bring this up all the time because a lot of chafing dishes will use the other one because it's cheaper and you're a dipshit. Have to be frank and honest about that. Do not make the mistake. Sterno, safe to use indoors. It says so on the packaging. That's the EPL and everybody, you see that little number? That's approved by five government agencies, including Department of Homeland Security. So put that in your pipe and smoke it, all right? Know the difference, all right? You have to understand very clearly, promoting white family farms, the difference between the two. If you use the chemical based one with a screw top and you light it up, you'll fume the house. I usually use this 
every, when I make coffee or put it right here to demonstrate to people. And I usually have one that's fairly safe. I did in a couple of classrooms. People didn't believe me. But when I lit up the other one, yeah, you could smell it. We had to all run outside the classroom. And that's how bad it stunk. All right. So understand that. I'll see you later. In a few minutes, we're going to be talking about real bug out food. I don't have the third bottle, but I'll be back and I'll discuss that. So this is old Uncle Alan's chat. All right. And I'll show you in the next video my dirty tricks. I'll see you later, folks. You have a nice day.